Hello everybody and welcome back to Willow Wire. Today we are playing Pokemon Scarlet. And we are going to get Ooh, an elect a Voltorb, I mean. Oh I forgot to switch! Oh no! <laughs> Just started and I'm already making mistakes. Okay, that's okay. That's okay, that's okay, that's okay. We've got a quick ball and we're gonna throw the quick ball and we're gonna catch that Voltorb. Alright, so we got two missions on this one. And then a submission. First mission. We are going to go after that Titan Pokemon of Steel. Second mission, we are going to go back to school and finish off a lecture. I got a, a Voltorb. And then our submission is we're going to catch every Pokemon we find along the way. Aside from this Doug Trio, which has been taunting me since the very beginning. Uh, we're going to switch because I'm tired of seeing Doug Trios everywhere. We're going to switch our Diglett with the Gengar. <clears throat> yeah. Wish I had more Quick Balls. Getting lots of Dusk Balls though. How do I even... How did I even get that high if I couldn't even get that high? Okay, well apparently I can't go that way. Not without a higher jump, anyway. Send him out there and have him destroy that thing. What is... Oh, it's a Larvitar. We've already got a Larvitar. We don't need that one. There's some rumors over there. Holy army of Q-fans. You know, I never did go for that uh, Hippowdon or any of those, like really powerful Pokemon that were in the water a while back. There's Q fans over there. Well, I guess we're going to be taking out the trainers instead. <clears throat> oh my gosh, I saw something amazing. Want to know what it was? Sure. Let me know what it was. Apparently there's Snowbird and Obama Snow in this game. I have not found one yet. Flamethrower! It's been so long since I've been to a Poké Center. <laughs> Surprised I even have attacks left. I saw an amazing Pokémon right here. Probably that Diglett that I scared away. Or Gimel Ghoul, or whatever. But you know what there is? Q fans, and lots of them. Well, I could go up this way, but there are quite a few things down here. So I guess we'll check out these caves over here first. Caves are a dead end, apparently. Oh, wait. What is up? What the heck is that? What are you? What? What is it? What even? I can't even. Oh, it's a diglet. What kind of awkward situation have they got me placed into here? Like, diglet's over there. What the heck? And mine's in the wall. How is this battle even taking place? Like, seriously. That was just dumb. Another Dusk Ball. A lot of those things, apparently. Okay, so I might need a different Titan first, I'm realizing. And what is this nonsense? Hmm. This is definitely where he's going to bust open the wall. Okay, how far away is it showing this thing? It's all the way over there. And I'm all the way over here. 
Alright, well, I'm right here, so I'll check out this cave real quick. Why can't I pick these up? And now it's glitching out on me more. Wonderful. Well, let's run up, I guess. Q fan, but. Ghastly Kimoki! Got him. Leave me alone, Ghastly. I'm not in the mood. Well, aside from that, there doesn't seem to be anything up here worth noting. Everything's chasing me. Okay, well, if I go this way, I should be able to wrap right up around. Lots of rollies. Isn't that the same trainer as before? Oh, come on now. Oh, this is frustrating. Alright, we're back on track. Now let's see what's up here. Looks like it might be in this cave. What is that? Like in all seriousness, I don't even recognize that Pokemon. What even is that thing? I liked you better when you were a worm. Without arms. I'm assuming you're a steel type. Yep. That worked. He's running away. I've never seen that Pokemon before. It kind of creeps me out a little bit. But he made a whole new tunnel system. I already know where he's going. Orthworm. Willowire, you managed to pin down the Titan? That's the lurking Steel Titan. It's a, well, it sure is long. I think our little friend might be even feistier now after eating those herbs. We're going to need to do this together, Willowire. Not really. Hell, if they'd let me, I'd catch it. Doesn't matter how big an opponent is, victory is going to taste good, uh, so good seasoned by my toast, Kodo? Oh, the toad thingy. Right. Oh, I almost one-shotted it. It failed because it's raining. That's hilarious. Really? That is what you did? You're so useless. I can do it myself. This is probably the easiest Titan so far. Let's get rid of a sand attack. There we go. 
another one down. First mission's already completed. It's only been ten minutes. We did it, Willowire. Way to go, little buddy. And did you get a good look at its face, though? I didn't expect the Titan to be such a little cutie. I bet if we go in here, we'll find more of that Herba Mystica we ate before. Let's go find it before the thing can regroup. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Yes, found it. Here's a little herb. The salty herb of Mystica. This shape, the sheen, it looks like it'll taste horrible, which means it's got to be good for you. Now then, let's see, what does the book have to say? Well, apparently, Salty Herba, Herba Mystica helps with aching hands and feet. Good for neurotherapy, or neuropathy, and numbness. When you've got muscle weakness, it supposedly builds up strength again. No time to waste, let's get some food going. Sorry for the wait. Here's a super healthy sandwich that'll perk you right up once you eat it. Plus, as a token of our friendship, here's another Titan badge. Gaze upon it in awe as you eat. Come on out, my boaster. Food's up. Oh, oh, oh would you look at that? Seems like someone's got a proper appetite now. Jump higher. Seems like that fellow was also slowly regaining its original strength. Still, it doesn't look like it's anywhere close to returning to its battle form. It seems healthy enough physically. Maybe it's got some kind of mental block that's preventing it from returning to its true form. <clears throat> I've read about it in books before. A mental scar, like psychologically, uh, uh, psychological trauma, you know? I think that's what you call it. Maybe it had a terrifying experience in battle, so now it's scared to battle at all. Well, don't worry. I'm sure both that brute and Mavostiff will make a full recovery eventually. So, how do you feel, Mavostiff? How's about that Herba Mystica working? Ah! No pressure! Not like it's fair to expect every kind of Herba Mystica to have some huge effect, right? And it's not like the effect has to be immediate, either. Hey, it's okay, don't worry. Willow Eye and I are going to make sure you're right as rain. We've got one more herb to go, and I bet it's the best of them all. Okay, Mr. Drippy. It's, it's got to be. Alright, Willow Eye, the next stop on our little herb hunt should be the last. But we can't lose steam until we're done. Let's keep up our momentum. Here we go. I'm assuming that's the evolution of that weird dog thingy. Hello, Willowar. This is Sada. I detect that Karayden has regained more of its original power. While you're riding upon it, it seems it can now jump higher if you hold the B button. Sweetness. You must continue helping Karayden recover. Now I can see where that goes. Uh, 
Let's see if I can hop back up here then. Whee! Definitely an improvement. How dare you not pick up? Don't know if I can make this jump though. Oh, I actually almost did it. Oh, so close. Bet you I can from this rock though. There we go. That was a weird sound. I wonder what it was. So where has this taken me? I do gotta get that gimbal key too. The other one I'm probably going to have to jump back down for. Oh, look, a battle. Okay, apparently this one's a strong one. <clears throat> There's so much sand around here. My mouth's getting all gritty. That poor thing. Well, it's stronger than the other ones were, but it's still nowhere near strong enough to take me on. I guess we had two sub things. It wasn't just going and catching all the other Pokemon, it was battling all the trainers on the way, too. Hello, Dawn Fan. I shall don fan you into the ground. You had sturdy. Let's see if his chance is useful. He did a decent amount of damage, I suppose. Uh, the worm! It's the worm! Lady, I need to go. Come on, lady, I need to go. Sure, uh, what does it do? It does nothing. Oh, come on. Blah, my worm is gonna get away. Don't go anywhere, Wormy. I'll be there soon. Cool. Now let me go battle my worm. What? The battle's over? I was still spinning up sand. Now? Now you want to evolve? Come on, I just want to catch the worm. The worm, 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 worm. The worm's the word. Whoa. Dash bun. Okay. That's a thing. Wait, those mice evolve? My worm. Okay, it's over there. Hang on, I just gotta put the puppy back. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I guess I'll take these guys because apparently they evolve. Wait, one more thing. Not risking it. Yeah, he's easy.
Due to the level difference, I think this should be fine. Oh, that's not good. That's that's very much not good. Hmm. Okay, um, I guess we're gonna try dive. It's only a six level difference, and it's simply effective, not super effective, so I think we should be okay. Yeah, because there's water here. That was weird. That doesn't do jack! You know what? Screw it. Great ball away! My dolphin's gonna die otherwise. Yay! We caught an earthworm! Does earthworm evolve? Probably not considering, you know, I faced a giant one. What shall we remove? We shall remove helping hand. It does not evolve. However, let me just take a quick look at the Tandimas. It should be right in the very beginning, so it shouldn't be too hard to find. There you are. Oh yeah, it's definitely, definitely evolves. Alright, one more thing. I'm pretty sure that I have a Sunflora. Or not Sunflora. Sunkern. Put these this way. Yep, there it is. Let's just get this out of the way. I forgot she traded that to me. And now we got some flora. Hmm, <laughs> my boob evolved. That was traded to me by Tiana. There we go. Now we can put this away. You go there, and you come back. And I don't see any other new ones, so let's grab this item. Which is a Q-Fant. Explore this area a little bit before we go. I do know, actually, I can get some Luxury Balls now. We uh And the next one looks like it's just some rare candies. What's that? Doug Trio, you seriously want to be caught that bad? Fine, here you go. There's a TM over there. Oh! You didn't want to be caught that bad. <clears throat> you made me waste a quick ball. See, I knew I shouldn't have gone for it. But it said mine always strikes first. If mine always strikes first, then how can you sucker punch it? Because then it wouldn't be striking first. My dolphin's gonna die! <sighs> Finn is in! No! My Diglett will finish you off. Diglett dig. Diglett dig, Diglett dig, Diglett dig. Bulldoze him into non-existence. Okay, I ain't playing around anymore. 
And now you're dead. I think it's raining outside again. Keep in mind, it's winter. Now I gotta replace my diglet. Because we could put magnemite where diglet is. And I haven't seen a. Oh, oh wait. Let's well, blue. Let's fit is in. in there. Whee! Oops, I did not mean to click through that that fast. Oh well. I don't use my TMs anyway. A lot of vault orbs. Got my great ball back that I lost, so that's nice. <clears throat> Another worm. Whoopsies. Oh well. Sure, she'll be fine. She's not fine. Yay, I got another firestone. Perfect. And now we can evolve Growlithe. Still haven't managed to find a Dawnstone, though. I don't hear y'all up there. Canine. Looks like Magnezone might be in this game. And I still have another Firestone? Really? Oh, that works for me. Gimme a ghoul. Gimme ghoul. I'll give that aim right someday. Maybe. Okay, let's see. We didn't go up there yet. We kind of skipped over that. Let's go ahead and head back up. Here. An item here. And we've got an item here. I don't need sunstone, I need a dawnstone. Guess we're going up the long way. Or not. Oh, odd. Hmm. Hey, wait a Not seeing an awful lot. A smart strike. Well, I mean, it wasn't a bad find, at least. And I'm over there. Wee schmack. Let's 
bunch of basculin. Not finding a whole lot in this area. Oh god, am I stuck here now? Ah, oh, fudge. What have I done? Ah, oh, I was almost... There we go. That was close. Ooh, it's Yen. Spikes? Didn't think that would be a TN. Go get him. Revive. Okay, I've been over here. I don't think we're making it to school at this rate. so I can get up there. I'm gonna go climb that tower. A lot of items on the ground, wow. Hey you! Since that trainer is literally right there, I'll jump off this tower and battle her. There's another trainer down the way a little ways. Diglett dirt. Isn't that just dirt that Diglett dug through? The rude sandstorm. A very nice song. I'm also sure I want to catch another one of these chests, to be perfectly honest. I've got so many. Damn, this tower's tall. Alright, well, let's go after it. I'll throw a quick ball at it and see what happens. Ooh, a decent leveled one. There I go, standing on the edge again. It wasted my quick ball. Really? I think that's my weakest one now. I can't look. Is it going to kill it? Yep. That's the first one I've killed. That's alright. Like I said, I've got plenty. I really don't need any more. What do you mean I can't ride right now? Of course I can. Ride them anywhere I want. Pretty much. Schmack. Are you a fan of sad songs or not so much? My personal opinion is they're okay, I guess. Because people talk like that. They keep sending things that are just going to get obliterated. That was easy. <laughs> it's a sad, sad loss in a sad, sad world. Tra la la la. such a big place. I don't know where I've been and where I have not been. I 
Really? I think this might have been the worm's cave. I don't know. Can't tell anything anymore. It all looks the same. Like, it all looks the same now. Pretty sure I've been here. Yeah, that's that girl I faced. So if I go this way, I should find that gimbal key. I think. Gimbal Google. Another Firestone. I don't need those anymore. I need Dawnstone. That's odd. I thought he was in front of it. I was already there anyway. What the heck? Found a lot of firestones and a lot of gimbal key uh, ghouls. There's a cave under here. I wonder what this cave goes to. The same place I came from. That's okay. I can use this to get up over the side. Right here. And do nothing because it brings me back to the same spot anyway. Hey, look, another Gimbal Ghoul. There's so many coins around here. Okay, I'm pretty sure I saw that on this side. So if I saw the Gimbal over here. Oh, it wasn't a Gimbal I was going for, I was going for an item. Wasn't even a good one. A trainer I haven't faced. I'm inclined to believe that it is. That or it's one that I faced on the way up. Ah, fudge. Is a fairy type? Nope, don't need it. Three star, but don't need it. Another item over there. There's so many items and stuff. Apparently, I've never had an energy powder before. Sorry, Curly, but I've already got two of you. I don't need any more of you. Super powered or not. Wow, a bunch of items. Poke it all. Rare bone. Dawnstone! I finally got a Dawnstone! I'll use that in just a second. I'm gonna get all these items first. Venom Shaw, that's not a bad one. There's so many. Bet you there's gonna be a gimme ghoul. Nope, no gimme ghouls. Okay, so let's evolve that Curlia. Took forever to find one of these. And there's a new Pokemon over there too. Sweet. Now I got a glade. Didn't even get a Gardevoir yet.
Now let's save some time and grab that one over there after I put Glade back. Alright. Crawdaunt, right? Or Dreadnought. Dreadnought. I don't know why I said Crawdaunt. I know who Crawdaunt is. Uh, hypnosis. <laughs> Pretty positive I'm fully out of quick balls. Side beam. And now we're just gonna throw a great ball at it. Because I'm feeling daring today. One less Pokemon to have to evolve. Sure, what do you want to get rid of? Let's get rid of baby doll eyes. That's one less Pokemon that need to evolve. And it furthered my list. Now once I get Gardevoir, I'll have a really long list on a row. Alright. Where are we gonna go next? This seems suspicious. Man, every time I think something suspicious, it never is. Corellia. I bet you I can get up there by using these boxes. Nope. Oh well, I tried. Dang, that room is ruined. No, 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 no. I do not want to face you. No, 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 no. Again. Oh crap. There's an item down there. That's it. Okay. Well, got another great ball. Roly coly coal. Well, look, an actual challenger. Harsh landscapes like this are the best for good quality training. Well, we didn't take on any badges in this one, but we did manage to take on a Titan and catch a bunch of new Pokemon. I've still got time to go and start something. I don't even know what badge I'm going to go for next. I've got half of them. I've only got one more Titan to go for, so I might go for the Titan first. One step closer to evolving. So harsh. Oh, small of is evolving. And now it's a Dolive. Okay. No idea what to do to evolve that one, so I'm just going to assume that it is leveling up, but I will use, or I will attempt to use a stone now, just in case. Sunstone. No, no, no. There is no stone that works on her. Okay. 
Oops, wrong button. And that means the only thing that could be, if it's a stone, is Dawnstone. Because I'm pretty sure I have every other stone. Go kick some butt. No, I said to go kick some butt. Jeez. Don't you know how butt kicking works? <clears throat> Alright, let's see. I'm assuming she probably evolves at level 32, considering everything. Oh, there's an item there. Huh, just a revive. I'm not really finding anything new in this area, so maybe I should go to uh, a uh, new thing. Wait, there's a lighthouse there? That's odd. How many lighthouses are in this game? What is that? That peak does not look natural. Ooh, a TM. Well, the peak doesn't show up on here, so it must be more natural than I thought. But yeah, I haven't been to that lighthouse yet. I went to the one across from it, but not that one. So let's run over to that one. I wonder if I can get up there. I can glide, but I can't see a way that I could possibly get up that. Not unless it eventually I get either fly or climb. Yeah, there's literally no way up there. Definitely looks like there's something up there, but there's no way to get there. Well, hello, Grammar. Anything over here? No? Okay. Let's look down on the cliff. Any little secrety things? What is that? I don't have that version. I didn't even know that version existed. Only quick balls. Not cool. Hey, I got it. Sweet. I wonder how many of these there are. you at? There you are. Oh, it was right there the whole time. I almost went out of flying. I got three so far. I think I saw one other one. Okay, I'm not seeing anything over the cliffs. I they just mostly fenced it off. They're all like, if they fall off that side, it's their own fault. I'm going for the Rotom because of how many I need in order to make all the different designs. No guarantee I'll catch him, considering how powerful I am in comparison, but yeah. Rotom, you're giving me problems. Send up Curly, I'd hope for the best. That was rude. Do that side beam and then throw a great ball at it. This should be enough to get him because of where he's sleepy, sleepy, sleepy. 
There we go. I don't know how many exactly I need. I'd have to look at the brochure again, but I know it's like five. Somewhere around there. Okay, I need I need to go up there. Can you thank you? I do not need Grimers. There is a TM here. I can get to the top. Well, I mean, I could get over to that. I don't know how far from here I could get. Yeah, I can't get up that high. We're coming in for a landing. Make way on the roof. Stuck. There we go. Whee. Hope I can't get up that one. Okay, we'll come over here. I don't see the dude. There's always a dude. Alright, this time around we're going to be taking math. We've missed time. Let's see how this one goes. Hello everyone, nice to meet you. My name's Time. And I will be your math teacher. Sorry to put you all on the spot at the start of the class, but let me ask you a quick question. Do you enjoy numbers, arithmetic, and the like? No. Oh my, haha. <laughs> Thank you for your honest responses. Some of you may like numbers and some may not. I think that makes a wonderful mix. But no matter your opinion on math, I hope you find yourselves enjoying our lessons together. I'll do my best to find a good way to match up your interests with all types of math lessons. Speaking of which, you, are you all caught up on your studies of Pokemon type matchups? For example, grass is strong against water and water is strong against fire, correct? Well, wire, you seem to be good with Pokemon, so let me ask you this. Bearing in mind that water is strong against fire, if the move Water Gun hits a fire type Pokemon, what becomes of the move's damage? That's right, I knew I could count on you for this question, Willowire. Using moves of a type that your opponent is weak to is super effective tactic. It multiplies the damage of those moves by two. On the other hand, using moves of a type that your opponent is resistant to isn't very effective. It divides the damage of your moves by two. <laughs> and I don't mean to encroach on Miss Dendra's Battle Studies territory, of course, but I thought it best to use a lively topic as an example. That can make math fun even for those who don't have or that don't much like the subject, don't you think? Oh my, is that the bell? I suppose that's all for now. What a shame. I'm looking forward to seeing you all in the next class. I hope you're looking forward to it too. Sure thing. And on to math too. Hello everyone, let's have a fun class today. Tell me, do you enjoy shopping, buying tasty bread, or choosing new clothes? Even just window shopping is so much fun. In today's class, I'd like us uh, to use shopping, one of my favorite hobbies. I mind you to teach you all about math. I'm sure everyone here has visited a Pokemon at least once. They sell all sorts of Pokemon items. Pokeballs are one of the many useful items you can find there. They cost 200 each. Now then, if or I'd like you all to do some thinking with me here. One Pokeball is 200. If you had $2,000 and bought as many Pokeballs as you could afford, how many would you receive? Are you serious right now? Oh dear, I'm sorry. Trick question. Yeah. Ten or more of any Pokeball, you're also receiving Premier Balls. Are you serious right now? Are you serious? The correct answer is ten. A Premier Ball is a special bonus? That does not count. You said Pokeball, not Premier Ball. You said how many Pokeballs could you afford? Ten. It's sure nice to get a little bonus like that on a shopping trip, isn't it? I am not enthused by that one because that is not even correct. Oh my, is that the bell? I suppose that's all for now. What a shame. I'm looking forward to seeing you all again in the next class. I hope you're looking forward to it too. Bull. 
Hello everyone, let's have a fun class today. Tell me, do you all enjoy fortune telling, horoscopes and the like? I think it feels great to read your horoscope and see that it says good luck is coming your way. So today I'd like to teach you all math while focusing on the topic of luck. Perhaps you have seen the following phrase crop up during Pokemon battles before? A critical hit. When a Pokemon's attack lands a critical hit, the damage it deals is increased by half. In other words, it does one and a half times as much damage as it would normally do. It is truly luck that determines whether your Pokemon lands a critical hit, or has one landed on it. This can cause a great upset in battle. Does anyone know what percentage or what percent chance a Pokemon has of landing a critical hit? <clears throat> I'm going to assume it's four in a hundred. Oh, that is correct. Well done, Willwire. I didn't actually know. The chance of landing a critical hit is said to be 1 in 24, which figures to roughly 4.17%. The odds are more favorable for certain moves, though. Why moves such as Stone Edge and Shadow Claw have about a 12% chance. <clears throat> you can also use a move called Focus Energy or an item known as Dire Hit. Both raise a critical hit ratio by two stages. That's a 50% chance to land a critical hit. It feels great to land a critical hit, but perhaps not so great to be struck by one. There is a surprising amount of mathematical probability hidden in Pokemon battles, you know. If you are able to do the calculations that will swing luck in your favor, it may open the door for more strategic choices for you during battle. <clears throat> oh my, is that the bell? I suppose that's all for now. What a shame. Next class will be our, our fun midterm exam. I hope you'll all be looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm not worried about mathematics in Pokemon. Alright, y'all ready for this math test? Alright everyone, it's time to begin our midterm exam. I'm sure the fun experiences you all had in my class will serve you well as you answer. How much damage does Water Gun do when it hits a fire type Pokemon? How much damage does Razor Leaf do when it hits a fire type Pokemon? How have you spent 2,000 on a... What percent chance does a Pokemon usually have to land a critical hit? How much damage does the move deal when it lands a critical hit? Alright everyone, time is up. Put your hands on your laps now. You were all concentrating so hard I can't wait to see how you did. Do go and ask for your scores at the front desk and then take a nice break. Actually, when I come back I'll be doing even more classes because I had to do one in the beginning like normal like I didn't do this time. But anyway, it feels great to get a test out of the way, doesn't it? Let's take a look at your results. You must get three questions correct to pass the midterm four to pass the final exam. Let's see how you did on your math test. You answered five out of five correctly. That's a passing score. Congratulations. Miss Time asked us to give this reward to any student who passed the exam. There's another one out of the way. All right, everybody, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you have, hit that like and subscribe button, and I will catch you all in the next episode where we take on the last Titan. Bye!